and good day. This is Miss Sabrina. I am going to give a brief about experiment 1, identification of biological molecules in food. So, let's get started. These are the objectives of the experiment. Number 1, to carry out tests for reducing sugars, starch, proteins, and lipids. Number two, two determined types of biological molecules present in a food sample given. These are the materials and apparatus that will be used in experiment one. Materials are distilled water, glucose, albumin, starch, vegetable oil, peanuts, Benedict solution, buret solution, lupal solution, and Sudan 4 solution. For the apparatus, these are calibrated dropper, test tube, test tube rack, water bath or hot plate, mortar and pestle, spatula, and vertex mixer. Now, let's have a look on procedures. Fill half a 250ml beaker with water and set to boil. Make sure the temperature must be above 95 degrees Celsius. Place 8 test tubes in a test tube rack. Grind 10 peanuts using mortar and pestle. Let's move on. In this procedure, the procedure is performed to determine the presence of reducing sugar. You need to label two test tubes. Test tube 1 for glucose, test tube 2 for peanut. In test tube 1, Put in 2 ml of glucose solution. Test tube 2, put in half a spatula of ground peanut. Next, take note the color of the Benedict's reagent. After that, using a dropper, drop 2 ml of Benedict reagent into both test tubes. Heat both test tubes for 5 minutes and observe any color changes. In this procedure, this procedure is carried out to determine the presence of protein. You need to label two test tubes, test tube 1 for albumin, test tube 2 for peanut. In test tube 1, put in 2 ml of albumin solution. In test tube 2, put in half a spatula of ground peanut. Take note the color of the buret reagent. Next. Using a dropper, drop 2 ml of buret reagent into both test tubes and observe any color changes. In this procedure, it is being carried out to determine the presence of polysaccharide. All you need to do is to label two test tubes as test tube 1 for starch, test tube 2 for peanut. In test tube 1, Put in 2 ml of starch solution. Test tube 2, put in half a spatula of ground peanut. Take note the color of the Lugol solution. After that, add 10 drops of Lugol solution into each test tube and observe any color changes. Let's move on. This is a final procedure to determine the presence of lipid. All you need to do is label two test tubes, test tube 1 for vegetable oil, test tube 2 for peanut. Both of these test tubes need to be placed 2 ml of water. Next, in test tube 1, put in 2 ml of vegetable oil, test tube 2, put in half a spatula of ground peanut. Take note the color of the Sudan 4 solution. Add 10 drops of Sudan 4 solution into each test tube. Okay, both of the test tubes need to be mixed using a vortex mixer. Then add 2 ml of water to each test tube. And finally, observe any changes that occur in the test tube 1 and test tube 2. All right. That's all from me, briefing about experiment one to all my fellow students. Before I want to say goodbye, do not forget to subscribe, share, and like.